Hello and welcome to this video lecture on analytic hierarchy process. This analytic hierarchy process also known as AHP is basically used for criteria weight calculations in multi-attribute decision making problems. I am taking here a problem uh, where decision maker has to select a car out of four possible options and four attributes are given. In this lecture, our aim will be to get the weights of these attributes using analytic hierarchy. So for this, we will need a scale of relative importance. This is a standard scale which is given by Sati in 1980. So you need to remember this scale for your future use. State that if one is of equal importance, uh, one intensity means equal importance or you can say that moderate importance means 3 importance, numeral value will be 3 and for strong importance numeral value will be 5. Similarly, very strong importance 7, extreme importance is 9, intermediate values will be given 2, 4, 6 and 8. What about this? 2, 4, 6 and 8 means what? Suppose uh, two criteria, the comparative values lies in between very strong and extreme value in that case the value will be given like 8. If the after comparing two criteria, the value lies between equal and moderate, then we will give 2. Similarly, we can give other values as well. What about this? 1 upon 3, 1 upon 5, 1 upon 7. After comparing C1 with C2, I got 4 here. While I will compare C2 with suppose C1, so I will write 1 upon 4 in that particular column. So C1 with if C1 with respect to C2 is 4, then C2 with respect to C1 will be 1 upon 4. So in AHP, this table will be given to you price, fuel efficiency, comfort, looks, price, fuel efficiency, comfort and looks. We are only taking the criteria because we are comparing one criteria with the another criteria and we are looking for their importance label with each other. Basically, we are comparing the importance with each other. Okay, how we are doing that? Let's see. Price. Price is compared with price. So, equal importance. Price having equal importance. Price compared with fuel efficiency. So, strong importance. It means if fuel efficiency if fuel efficiency has x value fuel efficiency has x value then price will have strong importance means strong importance means 5 then price will have 5x value so we will put 5 here so if price is compared with comfort, so moderate to strong importance, moderate to strong importance means what? Moderate is 3, strong means 5. So moderate to strong importance means 4. Okay, so 4 will come here. Now, if this is clear, so one more thing. If price compared with fuel efficiency means this is 5, then fuel efficiency compared with price, fuel efficiency compared with price will be 1 upon 5 this is 5 so this will be 1 upon 5 price compared with comfort is 4 price is having moderate to strong importance so comfort will have 1 upon 4 importance level price compared with price fuel efficiency compared with fuel efficiency comfort compared with comfort looks compared with comfort so all will have equal importance so equal importance means one point will be given. So similarly, I have converted all these points. Once these points are converted, so, so this table is known as pairwise comparison. So you have to remember one thing. This is scale you need to remember to convert here to here. If this is given to you, then no need for this table. So either this table will be given to you or this table will be given to you. You have to proceed further to get the criteria weights. Now we got pairwise comparison matrix like this. This is our pairwise comparison matrix which we obtain. Either this will be given to you or half part will be given to you. Means half part means this reverse part we can calculate very easily because if this is 5 then this will be 1 upon 5. 
if this is 7 then this part will be 1.7 this we know from our previous slide now next step take the so we convert it into decimal values and we calculated the sum so basically we are looking for the normalized pairwise comparison matrix normalized means once first you get the sum and then divide 1 upon the sum 1 divided by 1.59.2 divided by this 0.25 divided by 1.59 0.14 divided by 1.59 similarly for the second column third column and fourth column the obtained values are written here okay this is known as normalized pairwise comparison matrix next once normalized pairwise comparison matrix is obtained after that these are all weights actually these are all weights but we need average of each row average of each row is known as the weight so take the average of this row price so this plus this plus this this plus this plus this all divided by how many four four criteria are there so divided by four so i will get one zero six point six zero four similarly this plus this plus this plus this divided by four so these are weights so weights are calculated this is first part of ASP is done but one more problem is here that these weights are consistent or not this is the second part so first step is to calculate the weights and second step is that the these obtained weight are consistent or not to get that to check the consistency we have another method okay how to do that for this we need the comparison matrix without normalization so this is the matrix without normalization the matrix which we obtained comparison matrix pairwise comparison matrix which we obtained just after this this matrix in decimal is the same matrix without normalization now write weights for each price fuel efficiency comfort and looks here in this side now now take weighted sum weighted sum means weighted sum means that the sum means this so weighted sum means this into this this into this this into this this into this and then add up all these so what i did here this point zero point six zero four into one plus plus this is plus point one point one three six into five plus this into this plus this into seven so this is equal to this similarly we have done for all weighted sum this into this this into this this into this this into this and then add up weight into that value compare compared value so like this so this we obtained here next once weighted sum value are calculated now write weights in the next column weighted sum value is calculated okay now calculate lambda the value of lambda equal to weighted sum divided by weights weighted sum this divided by this this divided by this this divided by this this divided by this so we got here 4.16 this 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 so once lambda is calculated now we have to calculate the lambda max lambda max is average of lambda average of lambda is this plus this plus this plus this divided by how many criteria four criteria all divided by four so i will get this value this value i obtained 4.089 you can try it so lambda max once lambda max is calculated now few standard formulae are there which you need to remember one consistency index consistency index this is also known as ci ci this is given by 
lambda max minus n divided by n minus 1. So lambda max is from previous slide 4.089 4.089 minus n number of criteria number of criteria n 4 minus 1 3 so this comes to be 0 0.030 so once ci is calculated now ri we need ri the value of ri you need to remember so value of ri for if criteria is 1 then 0 if criteria is 2 then 0 if criteria is 3 then 0.58 if criteria are 4 then 0 0.90 if criteria are 5 then 1.126 this 7 this 8 1.41 9 1.45 in this case how many criteria are there 4 so ri will be 0 0.90 very simple so need not to calculate no formula direct with this with the help of this table we can see that a random index so random index for this case equal to random index equal to 0 0.9 and ci is 0.34 now calculate consistency ratio consistency ratio consistency ratio means ci divided by ri ci divided by ri ci is 0 0.030 divided by 0 0.90 this so this comes to be this now we have to analyze this result on the basis of consistency ratio only we will say the criteria weight are acceptable or not okay how we say that if this ci uh, sorry consistency ratio if this cr is less than 0 0.10 if this is less than 0 0.10 then acceptable if it is greater than 0 0.10 then we need to re-evaluate the pairwise comparisons what does it mean re-evaluate pairwise comparison means we need to go this that means these are not consistent